Good evening, America. I'm Mike Morney, your favorite presidential candidate. Coming to you this evening, talk to you about Fox News and their lawsuit. So if you haven't heard, they got uh, they got sued over the uh, the voting company being pissed off that they were being um, how do you say negatively reported by Fox News. Now Fox News decided to settle out of court rather than basically make this a First Amendment issue for the Supreme Court, and it was, by all accounts, pretty much a sound tactical decision, or strategic decision, I should say, uh, because, honestly, despite the hefty price tag on it for a company like Fox News, it's probably cheaper just to settle out of court than fight it and win, because it very likely would have gone to the Supreme Court, because a large portion of this does entail a First Amendment issue. As the media, it is their responsibility to report on things, even things that might not be true. I'm not going to say whether or not what the Dominion Company was doing or not doing, or their role in the previous election uh, were above board. I don't know. And before you try and lay into me about Fox News, I actually don't watch Fox News. I don't trust any single media outlet because that would be stupid. Uh, You know, I get my news from all around the world. I actually favor Al Jazeera, of all things. I even uh, take a peek at the infamous Alex Jones, and I think I might have to do a video on him as well here before too long. So I don't trust any news, a major news network. And as far as like being the conservative uh, mouthpiece, uh, I don't buy that. Because, yeah, the news network there does seem to portray the right a little more favorably than the other outlets. You look at their television programming uh, across the board, they're extremely liberal. So you're telling me that this company, this media company, is completely liberal and all over their programming with the exception of their news channel, that's, you know, if we're looking at American media, quite honestly, it's not news, it's infotainment. Uh, And, you know, before my liberal friends out there and Democrat supporters start cheering this uh, lawsuit here, remember, it wasn't that long ago that CNN and MSNBC were sued by a, a teenager for defaming him because he had the audacity to smile at a Native American man that was beating a drum in his face. And that's honestly all it was. They painted him as some sort of white supremacist because it's not news. It's not uh, it's it's not the press anymore. It's infotainment looking for clicks and outrage rather than telling you what's actually going on in the world. So sure, maybe Fox News is the mouthpiece for the RNC, but the majority of the rest of the American media is essentially state propaganda for the DNC. And, you know, if the DNC is in power in the White House, then I guess they're state media. When they're not, well, they're just a mouthpiece for that political party. They're cheerleaders. They don't really care what the facts are. I, uh... You know, I like to beat up Bloomberg because that is perhaps the clearest example to me because I used to listen to a lot of Bloomberg Financial about uh, what was going on in the world. And literally they would have uh, one person come on and talk about how well the economy was doing, largely due to Donald Trump's policies. And then they would splice in an opinion piece that would very literally call him an immature child, petulant child, I think is the term used. And nothing in there was supported by fact. It was just a Trump is a petulant child and we hate him and nani nani boo boo seemed to be what Bloomberg would say. Paraphrasing there. But 
that's my take on it. You know, I don't care. <laughs> um, they got, they decided to settle out of court. I believe it's more of a tactical or strategic move than it is a tactical one or admitting fault because they have not apologized. And I think that was just a way for them to make it go away. Consequently, they seem to have parted ways with Tucker Carlson. But I guess, what's what's his name? Don Lemon uh, also got unceremoniously canned by CNN. I don't really pay attention to either one of those guys. Tucker seems like he is a little more entertaining, I guess, to me. And again... As far as I'm concerned, this is a political mouthpiece. Granted, it's to my party, but, you know, I'm not going to trust my party's propaganda any more than I'm going to trust the other party's propaganda. So, God bless you, or any 2024. I hope this video finds you well. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Every little bit helps. A few more videos to come up tonight. I got a cigar and uh, a glass of whiskey I got to get through. Lots to talk about.